So till now we have seen the different types of variables which we can use into the Linux shell scripting. Now here we are going to talk about the basic operators which we can use into the Linux operating system. What the operators are? Operators can be any symbol we will be using here like plus, subtraction, addition, division, multiplication, subtraction, equal to, not equal to, all this. But here we have different categories of it which we should know before we start with the operators. Actually we have this five categories. Very first we have that is called as arithmetic operators. Now as discussed, we can use addition sign, subtraction sign, multiplication sign. These all operators are called as your arithmetical operators. For programming, if I want to add two different numbers, I can go for adding the or using the arithmetical operators by giving the first variable plus or the addition sign with the second variable that is a plus b. So those operators where are you I am using plus my subtraction, division, multiplication signs are called as your arithmetical operators. Next we have that is relational operators. Now if I am relating two different variables, now for example a's value equals to 1, b's value equals to 2, I want to check whether they are equal or not. So that is nothing but the relation, I am checking out the relation between both the variables. If they are equal means they are equal, if they are not equal means they do not have a relation or they are not equal, right? So those kind of variables we can use into the relational operators. Next we have called as a boolean operators. Now boolean operators are generally used where we need to define or or and operators. Like if a equals to b, b equals to c whether it is there or not. So it can be or an and condition. Like for example I can take a person can be a gender of a person can be either male or a female. So it can be or condition where the input which we can define for a variable can be a male or a female, right? It cannot be a both. So that's the reason they are using or operators. So value can be either equal to or not equal to a particular value. So that kind of operators are used into the boolean operators. The second operator is called as and. When I'm defining any particular letter or if I'm defining my name, I can add my name into the caps lock on that means in capital letters or into a small letters. So both are my name itself. So anything can be acceptable, correct? So this value can be added either in small case or into upper case. So I can add both the conditions. I can use both the conditions. So there I will be using AND condition. So basically all the OR and AND conditions which we use are into the Boolean operators. Next we have that is a string operators. Now if suppose I am adding some condition, if I am adding strings, now for example the letters which we have into the A variable called as like A, B, C, into B we have 3, 2, 1. So these two are the different variables I have added. They have different format altogether as well. One is having string, other is having number. I can check for both the variables, I can compare both the variables if those variables contain a true value. So it will show me the string as true. If it contains a false value, it will show me in a string called as false. So whenever if I want to create a condition where I am going to define true and false values by comparing my different variables, then I will be using the string operators. The next operators we have that is file test operators. Now this operator generally works to test for a file content. Now if suppose I want to check my file uh, which I have created is of 100 MB or more or not. So I can check by using this particular operator. So this operators will always work on file. I can check what the file contents are, what are the letters we have written on the file, what is the size of the file, what is the format of the file. All the tests will be performed on a specific file itself. So we just need to define the file name which we want to test here. So these are the five basic operators we generally have. So into the next video I am going to explore all the operators one by one and then we will see some of the codes or some of the script created by using these operators.